Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the selection tools available in Crystal Maker and use those to investigate the coordination environments around aluminium and magnesium atoms in the crystal structure of Spinel. We'll start with the polyhedral model of Spinel that we built in an earlier tutorial. I'm going to switch to a ball and stick model now and I'm going to use the range command to expand the plot range slightly. Now we're going to scale this and we can see looking along this direction that we have layers of oxygen atoms in red with the metal atoms in cyan and yellow arranged between the layers. I want to emphasize this arrangement but I don't want to have all the clutter of the other atoms. And that's where the selection tools come in because as well as selecting atoms we can isolate areas of interest. So the first thing I'm going to do is to move down to the tool strip at the bottom of the window. And I'm going to choose the arrow tool from the tool strip. This is a very versatile tool. You can use this uh, as a rollover tool to measure and identify atoms or groups of atoms in your structure, but it also functions as a selection tool. I can click on an atom to select it. I can shift click to select multiple atoms, or I can click and drag with the arrow tool to define a rectangular selection. And when I release the mouse button, all of the atoms within that rectangle are shown selected. Now on the right hand side of the screen, we have our selection inspector. Anything that is selected has its properties displayed here and you can see I've selected 91 atoms. Now I want to focus on the selection and I can right click in the graphics pane and choose the isolate selection command which has a useful keyboard shortcut command shift J. Now we just have the selected atoms shown. I'm going to hide the unit cell we have here our two layers of oxygen with the metal atoms in between. Now I would like to differentiate the two layers of oxygen. So I'm going to use the arrow tool again and I'm going to select the upper layer of oxygen. And I'm going to use the selection inspector to change the colours of those selected oxygen atoms. I'll make them green to differentiate them from the lower layer. Now let's switch to a space filling model and I want to flip this through 90 degrees and I can do that using the rotator popover. Now we can see that we have two quasi close packed layers of oxygen with the metal atoms sitting in between and I would like to emphasize those environments. So what I can do here is I can uh, click on one of the aluminium atoms and then I'm going to hold the shift key down and click on a magnesium atom. And I want to select their nearest neighbors. And I can do that by right clicking and telling the program to extend the selection to the nearest neighbors. And now we can isolate that selection and now we have the atoms shown for the coordination groups. Now if we go back to a ball and stick model, then we can see the groups of atoms around magnesium and aluminium. Now something else that we could have done is if we go back, we can use our undo command to go back. And let's say we switch to a ball and stick plot, we can use the lasso tool to do the same thing. So we can draw around areas of interest with the lasso and we can then use the isolate selection command to show those atoms. Crystal Maker also provides a polygon tool and that allows you to define a polygonal selection, which in some cases is easier to use. 
close the polygon, just move the mouse back over the starting point and the little square appears. And again, we can isolate the selection by right clicking and choosing the isolate selection command. So there we have our selected group of interest in this structure. We'll switch to a polyhedral model to emphasize that. And I'm going to use the Atoms Inspector to choose translucent environments around those metal ions and I'll put the oxygen atoms on the corners of our polyhedra. So that's a very quick overview of how we can use selection tools in Crystal Maker to take a rather complicated looking structure and focus on areas of interest within that without the distraction of the rest of the unit cell.